Here it is. It's upside down. Here it is. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And if this is your first time here to this channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you smash that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. And if you've been here before or if you're already subscribed, welcome back. And today is a very exciting day because in my hands, I have the brand new Feiyu Tech Feiyu Pocket 2. And if you guys have seen my videos before, you know I've been checking out Feiyu Tech's products over the last couple of years. And this one has been highly anticipated their pocket camera. They came out with their first edition, but now we have a new and improved second edition. And I gotta give a huge thank you and shout out to Feiyu Tech for sending this over. They sent one for me to check out. I figured, huh, now that it's here, gotta unbox it and put it to work. So let's do just that. <clears throat> let's start the unboxing of the Feiyu Tech Feiyu Pocket 2. <clears throat> Quick look at the box, you can see that's what the Feiyu Pocket 2 looks like. Looks pretty sexy if I do say so myself. But on the right side, the camera in your pocket. Yes, exactly. Feiyu Pocket 2 on the left side. Nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom, and of course some more information on the back. But we came here to actually open it, not just look at it. So, <clears throat> let us begin. One quick little cut. Don't want to take off my fingers. The less I have to use a knife, the better. And now we will take this cellophane, rip it off, roll up the sleeves. The moment we've been waiting for the actual unboxing. Feiyu Pocket 2. This is some information, some QR codes if you want to connect with Feiyu Tech. Beneath that, we do have the quick start guide. We will open this up. Okay, there you go. Everything you need to know, the overview, how to start using it, the common operations, and then on the back, a different language, which I can't read, so back to the other side. Everything you could need to know, all right there. And then underneath this, oh, here it is. Oh! There it is! The Feiyu Pocket 2, but before we get to that, we have one last little information sheet social media if you want to connect with them there but now the moment we've been waiting for this is what we want to see we have the Feiyu Pocket 2 ready for the unveiling on the right side here this is actually your carrying case so if you want to actually put it in your pocket this is a cool little way to quickly store it in this hard shell case so you can just put it in that put it in your pocket it'll be protected inside that it looks like we have a wrist strap which is always helpful to have for extra protection wrist strap and then we have a USB A to USB C cord which is primarily going to be your charging cord to actually charge up this thing but besides that here it is. This is the Feiyu Pocket 2. Oh, look how tiny it is. It is so small. Look how small. Small. It truly does live up to the name. This is actually, <laughs> this is wild. This is the Feiyu Pocket 2. Now we obviously have a couple films of cellophane. We could peel off here. One of the best parts of any unboxing. Quick little on cellophaning, nice, on this side, across the lens. <gasps> and now it's stuck on my finger. It's, it actually won't come off, there we go. Got it, okay. And now we will attempt to turn it on. There's a power button on the right side. We will press and hold that. <gasps> Feu oh my gosh, it has begun. I'm just gonna select English as my language and we are in. <gasps> and now the gimbal has started to work and I am in lock mode. If I let go of that, I'm in follow mode. Okay, I'm good on the hang of it. This is just still so crazy to me. I feel like I'm so jacked right now, like muscular bodybuilder because of how small this is. I promise you, it's um, it's not that. It really is this small, That it's, it's, it's incredible. But a couple things I'm noticing right off the bat, we do have a slot for your micro SD card, so for actually storing your video files, that's gonna go right there on the side. You also have your USB-C port right there, so that's gonna be used for charging it up. On the right side of the Feiyu Pocket 2, you got that power button which we saw earlier, and then on the front, of course, you do have what seems to be just a click button, which is gonna start recording, but I, have, I don't have a micro SD card in yet. Let me get one. Ah uh, yes, there we go. You're gonna put this right 
in the slot on the side. Just push that in, use your fingernail, you'll hear it click in, and boom, now we're up and ready to go. I have seven hours of recording right there. Now this is in 1080p, 30 frames per second, but this is one of the things right off the bat I love, the touch screen that makes using this Feiyu Pocket 2 so easy. Because look, all I gotta do is swipe down, that's set up, I just keep going right to left, I could cycle through my different modes super easily. All this could be done literally just through the touch screen right there, and let me just say, this is a very nice high definition looking touchscreen. I can't see individual pixels, so it's just nice to look at. It's gonna be especially helpful for when I'm actually recording cinematic shots with this thing. And the ability to do cinematic shots that you otherwise can't really pull off without a bunch of different equipment. All those little details are what make these pocket gimbal cameras like this worth checking out. But to give you an idea of exactly what I'm talking about here, we are gonna switch over to the Feiyu Pocket 2 itself. This is the Feiyu Pocket 2. This is exactly what I'm filming on right now. No matter what the situation calls for, the Feiyu Pocket 2 has a whole bunch of different features packed into it. You could shoot slow-mo, you could shoot photos. It's gonna look like you filmed it on a gimbal, because you did. It's just on a gimbal the size of something that could fit into your pocket. And of course, even though we have a touchscreen display, we do have that joystick right there, and you could use that for gimbal movements to actually have manual control over them using the joystick manually, or of course, you could go into lock mode by pressing and holding on that as well. So most of your interaction with the Feiyu Pocket 2 is actually gonna be done through the touchscreen, but of course, you do have a shutter button and a joystick right there on the front to use for your different purposes as well. And if you wanted to quickly change between video and photo mode, or if you wanted to go right into slow motion, all you have to do is swipe right to left on the touch screen. You have your three different options right there. If I wanted to change the video resolution, for example, you could go right into that. You even have time-lapse mode and panorama mode if you wanted to utilize those as well. Seamless time-lapse and panorama modes, if you select those, you just click on them. You'll have a whole bunch of different features built within those. You can see you have time-lapse, motion-lapse, and even hyperlapse is options here. All this is built right into the Feiyu Pocket 2 itself, so you don't even have to think about it. You can just plug in what you wanna do, and the Feiyu Pocket 2 will walk you through the rest. Especially motion lapse and time lapse, just in general, I could already tell you to have this thing fitting in my pocket, I'm gonna bring this thing with me everywhere, and instead of just posting a boring single static image on my Instagram stories, with this thing, I can start upping my Instagram stories game and really start bringing the cinematics. So if you guys wanna see some of the Instagram stories I'm gonna be uploading with the Feiyu Pocket 2, of course. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at bmacadelic. You can follow me over there and check out my stories in the coming days and weeks because this thing, the difference that the Feiyu Tech Feiyu Pocket 2 can make on your footage, whether you're using it for Instagram or YouTube or B-roll, no matter what you're using it for, you can see how fluid, how cinematic it makes your shots look all with a little teeny tiny package of a system right here that once again, literally in the palm of your hand, literally in your pocket, I just can't get over it. As always, if you guys are interested in learning more about the Feiyu Pocket 2, or just to snag one of these puppies for yourself, you guys could always head to my affiliate link, bmac.link slash Feiyu Pocket 2, bmac.link slash Feiyu Pocket 2, or as always, there will be a clickable link in the video description box below as well, so check that out. And with that having been said, there's actually a nice sunset going on right now. I could kind of see it peeking through the clouds, so I'm gonna go shoot that, well, technically, the Feiyu Pocket 2 is gonna shoot that. Maybe I'll do a time lapse. Something interesting. I will see you guys in my next video. My mind is blown. It's actually blown. I have no mind left, it's gone. Feiyu Pocket 2.